Welcome back to Houston, everybody. It is time to take on the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim in round one of the year five Stanley Cup playoffs, I think. Pretty sure we're that far in. Anyway, um, yeah, let's see what they got. Let's view lines, go to the Ducks, which will be the first one. And they've got Kirill Kuznetsov. I'm pretty sure we played these guys in the lofts last year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, uh, they got Mason McTavish here at 89 overall. Listed as a second line forward, though. Do they have any first line forwards? They don't have one. Not one. And they even have a depth forward. But he is 81 overall, so he fits. Okay, but anyway. Yeah, their offense is nothing special. It's decent, but it's not crazy. On D, okay. Drysdale's really good. And yeah, like they're good, but it's definitely something that we can outperform I believe just looking at it here yeah I think we we should be able to do this Gibson okay they have two good goalies that that is a little scary they definitely have a better goalie than us but you know what the boys can do it all right here we go the mighty ducks of Anaheim round one year five very very similar record to us here we go first period all right that's okay second period okay we're going into three tied two two here it is. Hammerheads and the Anaheim Ducks. Pretty even on shots right now. It is about halfway through the third period already. Not a whole lot of shots have been happening, but Houston did pull ahead there. Five minutes to go, and Kuznetsov will put one in. And that puts the Ducks ahead, and Zegris will finish off the Hammerheads. That is a 4-2 to victory for Anaheim in game number one. Bergeron, Gibson, and Zegris, your three stars for that matchup. Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Game two, hopefully we have a bounce back. Let's do this thing, simulate game, and yep, AHL can be simulated as well. First period, all right, second period, okay, all right, boss puts one in, and we are back in this thing. Gibson really stealing the show right now. Still 2-1, we are out shooting them heavily, but unable to score. A power play, and Lucas Raymond will bury one, tying this game up about halfway through the third. And they had a power play, not able to capitalize. Another power play for the Hammerheads, also not able to capitalize. Come on, let's... Yes! Yes, Miro! You legend! 50 seconds to go, he's gonna bury one, and that will make the series 1-1, heading back to Houston. A great game for Mikey DiPietro. Atta boy, Murray and Gallagher, your other two stars. I will take that. That's huge. Okay. We are now tied 1-1 in a best of five here. Well, it is now a best of five because of the fact that it is 1-1. We have two games in a row at our home barn. First period. Oh, boy. Same as last game. Second period. Uh, that is not the same as last game. Okay. Well, that's not good. Okay. They have Di Pietro. Goes from being the first star... To letting in five shots on, or five, oh my word. Five goals on 15 shots, I can't speak. Oh, I'm too flustered with how poor the Hammerheads are playing. And we have a power play. No can do. Yeah, let's just get out of there. That is not the way we wanted to show up to our home crowd. Oh boy. Gibson first star with a 35 save shutout, not a big deal. Bergeron two goals, Raquel two apples. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, hopefully the pattern continues and we win here. Simulate up to this game. All right, here we go. Sim game. Come on, Houston. First period. I'll take that. Second period. Okay. All right. It's 2-1 again. And it is 3-1. Oh, my word. We're going to get first rounded, aren't we? Yeah. It's looking like it's going to happen. Di Pietro not really pulling his weight right now, I feel like. Power play, and they get a shorthanded goal from Chris Tierney. They sure did. Yeah, we are one game away from elimination. That is devastation. Wow. Okay. Well, Gibson the first star again. Chris Tierney, one and one, and then Drysdale got two apples. Yeah, we have our backs up against the wall here. How will the Hammerheads perform with their backs pinned? Let's find out. First period. Okay, second period. Okay, that's good. That is a positive. We are heading into the third tide. 
Give the Ducks a power play here. A long power, a long power play. Holy crap, they weren't able to capitalize. We get a power play. Same deal there. Five minutes to go in the third period. We can't let them score. If they score, it's done. And we are going to OT. All right. If the Ducks score, we are out. If we score, we survive another day. Five minutes in and we're done. We are done. What a disappointing season. Are you kidding me? Gibson again, that guy. Wow, we couldn't beat him. We literally could not beat him. That is ridiculous. Well, sometimes it do be like that. And today is one of those days. We have been wiped. Absolutely rinsed by the Ducks. Well, let's sim up to, I guess, somewhere around here. And just see what happens. The Florida Panthers take home the Stanley Cup this year. Boo! <laughs> oh well. What can you do? The draft is right around the corner. And we are in a predicament. We are in a predicament here. Yeah, to say the least. Okay, well let's uh let's view the draft class, shall we? And what do we got here? Okay, so there's a this is not we can't really count that as a gem. I mean, I suppose you could, but anyway, um, there's actually three gems. Okay, interesting. This guy's a medium top four defenseman, supposed to go at 44. How do I? Can I? Oh, I can pin. Yeah, there we go. And Evans, let's pin him as well. I guess we'll pin Parrish, but he's probably not gonna <laughs> come to our squadron unless we move up in the draft, which I don't really plan on doing. Okay. So Sokolov is actually, yeah, recommended by our scouts there. And I can do some more pre-scouting. Let's sort by potential here. What pick do we even have? I guess, will we know beforehand? Okay, it's probably going to be around this range here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me let me do some some scouting, pin some players, and we'll see where that gets us. All right, so I have pinned some players here that look really good. Obviously, we're not going to get this guy, but yeah, I mean, okay, he's got the beauty backhand. It's expected to go like ninth overall, but there are a few other players here. Like this guy's not a good example. He's one that I just pinned because there really isn't a whole lot of good goalies this year, but a uh, medium top four defenseman here. That we could definitely grab another guy here. Uh, Ronnie Robertson. What a name. But he is basically guaranteed to have the all alone ability. And he is three years till NHL ready. Which isn't crazy long. Um, there's just, yeah, there's a bunch of players here. Some of them have X factors. Like this guy, for example, is expected to go 34th or something like that. And... Essentially guaranteed to have two abilities, which is amazing. So uh, I'm probably just going to unpin Parrish. No, I might as well keep him. If he goes, he goes. But yeah, there's actually a few players here that I wouldn't mind moving up for if we have the right pieces to do it. So anyways, that's round one. We'll save the draft for next video. Yeah, disappointing. But what can you do? I'll see you soon.